guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to bring you the Sephora VIB sale and my product recommendations for the sale coming up next <music> You guys like my shirt um, it says woman and it says wise hopeful mighty uh, authentic and kind so I got this at Old Navy and I really like what it said so I thought I'd get it I think I'm gonna be in t-shirts most of the summer I'm gonna be taking my kids to swim lessons almost every day so I'll be living in a tank top and t-shirts for a while but anyways um, so excited. Welcome to my front-facing camera. What do you guys think? <laughs> I just thought I'd try something different with my iPad today. Anyways, Sephora VIB sale is coming up. Kind of like their equivalent sale to Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I'll put that up in the cards right here if you want to see my recommendations for the Ulta sale. So Sephora uh, works a little bit differently and frankly their sale is not as good as Ulta's 21 days of beauty but either way still very excited for the sale when you buy stuff at Sephora I highly suggest that you sign up to be a member there's three tiers for membership one is the beauty insider the second is the VIB Rouge and the third is the um, Rouge membership so you get those level of tiers depending on how much you spend in a year at Sephora. I am a VIB Rouge, so I spend around um, $400 or so in a year on uh, Sephora makeup, which is not that much, but don't tell my husband. And then of course the Rouge membership are the really big spenders. Beauty influencers are in this tier. Um, they spend at least a thousand dollars or more if you are a Rouge member then you get 20% off and your sale date starts on April 26th to May 6th when you are a VIB Rouge like myself you get 15% off from May 2nd to May 6th if you are a beauty insider then you get 10% off during the sale which is the same time as the VIB Rouge I like to use this VIB sale to kind of um, replenish some of my favorite items especially on skincare because skincare is so expensive as a VIB Rouge 15% I feel it's not that much compared to how expensive makeup and skincare is but every little bit helps especially when it comes to your favorite products you know if you get a sale on the items that you really like that's like the best time to buy all right so the first item that i highly recommend are the rollerball perfume i love to collect um rollerball perfumes and the one that i recommend is the tory birch uh rollerball the orange one is my favorite Mm, it smells floral. I tend to like perfumes that are more on the floral side and also It has a little bit of a citrus side. I think I'm gonna really love this for the summertime I'm not the best person at describing scents, but I'm gonna put the notes here at the bottom of the screen to kind of tell you what the scent is gonna be like so I love it for travel it's very compact and you don't have to bring the actual perfume bottle for your trip this is perfect for travel or just to throw in your purse oh by the way the Tory Burch rollerball um, retails for $30 so it's not so bad especially if you want to just try a certain kind of perfume you don't want to buy a full size but you just want to try one um, and see how it goes this is the perfect time to buy and plus you get 15% off or 10% off the $30 so it's gonna be a good deal okay sorry about my voice I'm recovering from a cold Part of it is the allergy season. Um, the next item is the Urban Decay Essential Eye Tool and it looks like this. And it has that. It retails for $15. I use this tool for separating my lashes. So this is a tool that you can run through your eyelashes after you put mascara on and it's perfect for separating and removing those clumps from your mascara especially when you start using older mascaras that start to kind of thicken and clump up this is the perfect tool for um, removing those clumps and just really doing a good job at separating those eyelashes so love love this tool I got this recently and I don't know how I lived 
without it, get yourself one. It's gonna perfect your makeup or at least your eyelashes a bit more. The next item that I recommend buying during the sale is the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil. Actually, any kind of Bite Beauty lipstick or lip pencil is really good. It retails for $18. I have the color 043, and it looks like this. Really nice kind of pinky, pinky mauve shade. I think this is going to be a good shade for the summertime. I really like this for outlining my lips. Sometimes I just wear it alone as a lipstick. It's really long wearing. It glides on easily. It's very pigmented. Oh, also it has Sephora's like clean seal of approval, meaning that they don't use ingredients that are harmful for you. And I believe the Bite lipstick is the type of lipstick that you can actually eat and it's not going to harm you in any way. So they really use good ingredients for their lipstick. Highly, highly recommend it. Next item that I highly recommend, and I'm definitely gonna buy it during this sale, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 uh, Styling Treatment. So I got a actually a sample size, which I threw away, but it was kind of like a packet like this, a little bit bigger, but I was able to get at least like 10 uses out of it, and it was really nice. So this styling treatment is supposed to be something that you put on to your damp hair or after you take a shower. It's a heat protectant, so when you do blow dry your hair, it's gonna protect your hair. But also what I found is that it really volumizes my hair and at the same time, it made it kind of bouncy, you know? I don't know how else to explain it, but when I felt it, it felt so soft. Like right now, I feel like my hair is so rough and thick. Whenever I put on that living proof um, styling treatment, I always had a good hair day. I didn't have to worry about styling it. I could just get out of the shower, blow dry it a little bit, and I would have the right amount of volume and body. And it just seems like every single strand of my hair just sits perfectly, like it was kind of styled a bit. Unlike today though, one of the worst hair days. I wasn't feeling very well, but I wanted to get this video out so that you guys can get a heads up on the sale. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Styling Treatment is $28. It comes out as a cream, but it's very lightweight. You would think it's gonna weigh down my hair, which happens to a lot of the hair products that I put on my hair, but this one really is lightweight. I highly recommend this product. This is gonna be one of the products that I'm gonna be buying during this Next sale. Next one is a cleanser. Like I said, I like to stock up on my favorite skincare products from Sephora. One of them is the Purity Made Simple um, Cleanser. This one I got during the holiday season, so it kinda has these gold um, you know, packaging on it, but normally it would just be like a plain yellow like this. So the product retails for $24 for eight ounces. This is the 12 ounce, but I got it on sale during the holiday season. It's really um, good at cleaning the face, especially when I have a full face of makeup on. It's supposed to be a one-step face cleanser. So that means it cleanses and at the same time it tones and hydrates your face. So technically it eliminates like the three other products that you would normally put on your face like a toner and then maybe moisturizer. It's still a very gentle product. It doesn't dry my face out. It really cleans and removes makeup really well. So highly recommend this product. The other product that I recommend is the Neogen Dermology Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Lemon. I'm gonna put the uh, picture of this item on the screen since I don't have it anymore. It retails for $27 at Sephora. So this is kind of like an exfoliating product. So one side is more rough and it's used for exfoliating. The other side is more soft. I would say a medium to heavy exfoliator. It smells like lemon and it's really used to brighten the skin. It's perfect for removing those hyperpigmentations, those dark spots or scarring from acne marks. So highly recommend it. It retails for $27 at Ulta. Next item that I have is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. So this one contains an oil and the pigment. So usually you'll see it separate. You'll see the oil on top and then the pigment on the bottom. And that's why it's called a juicy shaker because it looks like a 
what do you call this? I don't drink, guys. Once the pigment and the oil mixes together, then you get this applicator right here. It's not a lot of pigment, but I think this would be perfect during the summertime for when you have a no makeup makeup look, or you just have no makeup at all and you just wanna put this on, kinda of just give your, your lips a flush of color. During the winter time, I use this when my my lips felt really dry. The oil is so soothing. Sometimes I like to use this with a lip liner and then I just put this on top in the middle of my lips. So this color right here is called Piece of Cake. Love, love this color. The Lancome Juicy Shaker retails for $22 at Sephora. Such a fun lip product because you get to mix it first. Last item that I wanted to talk about is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Pencil. I have the blue one, but I've tried the black one before. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get the dark brown one because that's what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Really great, creamy eye pencil. This is what I like to use when I kind of want a pop of blue as an eyeliner. It stays on forever, and I think this is one of the higher end products that I recommend as far as eyeliner. It is a bit pricey. It retails for $25 for an eyeliner. My favorite black eyeliner or gel eyeliner is the one from e.l.f. So if you're on a budget, get this one. Otherwise, highly recommend this during the sale. I think I'm gonna finally get the brown one as well. Um, that way I can use it. It's very creamy. It doesn't tug on the eyes. It's long wearing. Once it sets, it stays there for good. So I highly recommend this. I've had this for over a year now. I use it a lot during the summertime when I want some color in my eye and it hasn't dried out on me. I think it's going to be a good investment. Highly recommend it. I'm trying to wipe off my hand and the gel eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs one already set and it's not coming off. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like me to make or what other products you'd like me to review. That would really help me out in giving you more content for my channel. All of the items that I mentioned today are gonna be in the description box below. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post videos once a week and I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.